Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery slash Simpler Trading Free Video. What's today about? Today is about triple witching tomorrow. And it's about the open interest of 5150. And no matter what they threw at the market, somebody knew. And let me show you what we're talking about. Do you see this right at 5150? And you see the open interest. I've been harping on that open interest at 5150. So just check that out and realize that that's what seemed to pull the market at the close. Now you might ask, how about the weeklies for today? Well, darn right, they started trading a lot of them right in here. And I'm telling you, that was a lot of that was at about 3.30 Eastern. So somebody was tipped off that this was going up. All we did was take in our profits on a number of put flies and also in ARM being shorted. But you still have warning signs for tomorrow. But the first thing I want to show you is this because it's a big deal, I think. And that is Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin on the upper right got nailed, the whole stock market got nailed. But you're going to watch that as Bitcoin went down, I'm trying to show you the arrow in there. We were noticing that coin was forming a bull flag. Now keep in mind that we've been watching this every day. and We've been watching these relationships between coin and Bitcoin. And I'll show you what we're talking about. So here is Bitcoin yesterday. So Bitcoin yesterday did this. Where it was going to new highs and coin was actually forming a bear flag on the way down. As you see there, uh, Bitcoin was going up. That was forming a bear flag on the way down. Today, the opposite. If you take a one minute chart, there's coin on the left. Luckily, I showed that. And Bitcoin on the right. So if Bitcoin stabilized, it was probably going to make coin stabilize or go up. The other thing, check this out. See that bear flag right there? The problem is the overall stock market had held up great in here, figuring the SPX was going to stay at 5150. But that last 2,000 point sell off in Bitcoin spooked the SPX at exactly the same time. When this came back, that came back. It's amazing on how they work together. So, this on the right was the reason the SPX got nailed in the first place. When the Bitcoin came back to where it was at 230, guess what? The SPX went back to where it was at 230. It's amazing. Now, are there negative divergences for next week? Darn right there are. So let me show you what they are. Number one is the bond market. The bond market looks like this on a daily chart down in these lower echelons down here. On the other hand, the SPX on the right, or the NDX if you want to take that, is really in the grand scheme of things is near its all-time high. So now you've had this divergence here while this has gone up. So that's one of the warning signs. Let me give you another one. Now that doesn't mean I'm just going to blindly short. I'm going to look for crossovers of the ATR trailing stop intraday because overall, as you see, we don't have any trend line cross on the right. But we'll play them day trade. Don't get me wrong. But let me show you what I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching this, the 20 moving average. So you're going to see that 20 moving average and see the SPX is comfortably above it. You're going to see the NASDAQ is comfortably above it. But you're going to see the Russell is at it. The Dow Jones Industrials almost got to it. The transports are under it. And the bond market now is under it. So there are a lot of divergences, which makes it hard for me to buy anything. I like to buy when I see the bonds rally like they did right here. And see stocks sell off, so you get a positive divergence. So I'm having a tough time in here 
about going over here and messing with the long side. Now, you don't have to short, but it's hard unless the bond market rallies for me to look for long ideas other than intraday like the coins of the world. And that's how we're going to play it tomorrow. In fact, I usually do nightly charts every other day. But with expiration tomorrow, the triple witching, and so much madness with that, I don't think the charts overnight are going to be that reliable. Intraday, sure. But I don't want anybody to get opinionated until after this madness is done. So have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.